Cows at Harper Adams University College have been wearing backpacks as part of a PhD research project. The project looks at different types of starch and oil in their diet, and these packs allow a gas sample to be taken continuously from the cows' mouths. They wear the packs for five days each month, and their performance, such as milk yield and composition, and body condition, are measured. The, the research that I'm doing, the summer study, it's uh, looking at the methane output of dairy animals. We are looking at uh, how to change the diet, the composition of the, of the diet, so that we reduce the methane output from the animals. What you see, the back, backpacks actually are measuring the, it's for collecting the samples, the, the, the gas that is coming from the rumen of the animals. We, we collect the, the sample of the gas, then we go and analyze it in the lab using a, a, a GC, gas chromatography. This is where the animals are getting the forage. This is the forage that they are getting. We are adding, we added the oils to the, to the, to the forage. Then that's where we, they are getting the concentrate from. We are, we, are, we are looking at how the concentrate is also having the impact on the methane output. We are hoping that it will improve the efficiency of uh, producing the dairy animals in the sense that uh, methane is considered as an energy loss. Actually, animals lose about 2 to 12 percent of the gross energy intake that they take in through methane production. So when you lower the methane output, it means the energy that was supposed to be lost through methane is being channeled to something else like in increasing the milk production. So it will be a benefit to the, to the farmers, actually. Well, we are looking at, when you talk of uh, dietary, altering the composition of the diet, there are so many factors that, uh, that have to be considered. For example, you, you, you work on the forage and concentrate ratios. You can, you can change the, the, increase the concentrate level. You can add oils to the diet to see how the methane output is varying in animals. So I hope to continue, but maybe using different channels altogether. But it, it will all work around the changing the composition of the diet of the animals.